Most of us go to our graves with our music still inside of us, said a wise man once, underlining the significance of music in each and every one of us. Irrespective of the numerous interpretations of music, one thing is certain, it celebrates life. It moves us, it thrills us, it excites us, it brings back memories, it brings smiles to our faces, acts as a balm to our sorrows and does 101 other things to different people. And today we are gathered here to celebrate one such occasion. Thank you for being with us this evening, ladies and gentlemen. Nima Rumba We have heard of the man and his music for over 20 years now, but as many close to him will vouch for, it has been one tough journey, undertaken with passion, humbleness and dedication, all with a smile on his face. It was in the year 1989, after completing his SLC, that his journey actually began, when he joined the band The Bass, the members of which taught him to play the guitar and fine-tune his singing skills. A simple lad, like any other youngster from the neighborhood of Swembu, used to jam with friends on covers of popular English and Nepali songs and even did a few originals, but never recorded them. Things started looking better in 1991 when he formed the band The Peace and recorded the first single, Ai Deo Priye, which was later incorporated on a compilation album, Talent First, produced by good friend and owner of Harati Cassette Center, Mr. Anil Stopith. However, it was only in 1993 that he showed signs of what was to come in the years ahead. He went solo with the single, Zade Chutara. Written and composed by himself and included in another collection album, Touch One, from the same production house. That was followed by other singles like Ujad Mero Jeevan Ma, Pagal Premi and the smash hit, Block Hill Shoes. <laughs> Nineteen ninety four saw the making of Suna Suna, his first solo album, and at the end of that same year, Nima Rumba Night, his first ever solo concert, materialized at Academy Hall, organized by the students of Sankardev campus. The years nineteen ninety four to nineteen ninety five saw him performing at various places in and around the country and beyond the borders to Darjeeling and Sikkim as well. Nineteen ninety five was also the year he married his girlfriend. Shelley. Nima released his second album Memories in 1996 under the banner of Santana Records, which included the smash hit Miss Catwalk. Then came the music video, directed by Mr. Bhushan Dahal, also the first for Image Channel, Miss Catwalk. <laughs> They were gifted with their first son, Samuel, in 1998, and musically it was pretty rewarding too with his sellout concert in Tokyo. With so much of new materials well stocked, Nima came to Kathmandu in 2000 to record his breakthrough album, his third, Huri Batas. There was no looking back now. <laughs> He returned back to the country in 2002 and into the hearts of thousands of fans with his fourth effort, Lolita, which of course included the blockbuster, Au Auna. Two thousand three recorded another smash single, Rock, this time round, Preeti Basio, which was included on Budget two thousand three, a compilation featuring other well known artists of the time. Creative juices kept flowing after his return to Nepal and in two thousand four released his fifth album, Faith. Sajama Pani, the single from it is still fresh in our memories. Requests for performance started pouring in from all over the globe, including numerous awards and recognitions from all quarters. In 2005, he released the best of Nima as well as the perennial favorite, Mary Priyasi, for a compilation album titled 
साथी साल Two thousand six saw the release of his sixth album, Pride, under the banner of Santana Records, taking it straight up to the charts with songs such as "Auna Sange Natsom," "Afne Days Pyaar," to name just a couple. Two thousand six was also the year that Nima and Shelley were blessed with their second son, Norwin. However, for a change, it was for some other reason that he grabbed the headlines in 2009 when he made his acting debut with the Quest Entertainment production *Kag Beni*, directed by the acclaimed Bhusan Dahal. The year 2010 saw him engaged with several music projects, including Basant Choudhury's *Peace Anthem*, *Shanti Lukaon Kaha*, Dr. Bhola Rizal's *Yo Mosam Pagal*, and similar other musical experiments. He also took time out to endorse Yama's bike trip to Tibet and headline the MTV Exit tour the same year. Till date, besides uncountable concerts and tours in and around the country, he has performed in the USA, UK, Australia, Germany, Belgium, Holland, Japan, South Korea, Hong Kong, Malaysia, Brunei, Dubai, Canada, Scotland, Israel, India, and Bhutan. Adding another dimension to Nima's achievements between the years 2006 and 2011, his list as a brand ambassador and endorsements include the likes of, mind you, we are just mentioning a few here: Shakalaka Boom Noodles, Yama and Taisa Bike, Team Samsung, Springwood Menswear, Coca-Cola, San Miguel, Dell Laptops, Nano Noodles, and of course, Dabur Vatika Pro Style Hair Oil for Men. <sighs> That was pretty long, in spite of us trying to condense Nima's journey as much as possible. That's why we say Nima has come a long, long way indeed. And now we are proud to bring to you Nima's eighth album, the album which has been in the making for the past three years. And as with his past albums, every little detail has been personally looked into by himself. Ladies and gentlemen, we give you the man and his music, Mr. Nima Rumbas. Eighth offering to you, pro style rangong kima. Rangong kima, rangong kima, sazong kima, rangong kima, rangong kima, rangong kima, sazong kima, rangong kima, rangong kima, rangong kima. सजौकीमा सजौ की मांगौ की
मलाई लगायो नि जानी जानी ये ठुलनानी अब त चारै छैन छैन मर्न निकारै हैन हैन यो जान तिमीरै नाम लेखे अब त छोड्ने छैन अब त छोड्ने छैन Na bhuk chana nindra 
Ekli na thale kuch huma 